All right, so once you're in a Zoom meeting, you are going to want to All right, once you're in a Zoom meeting, you are going to want to turn off your chat right away. So parents cannot go in and um, put a bunch of things in the chat. So I'm gonna click on the chat button down at the bottom of my screen. And then I have the three dots right here at the bottom where I write my messages. I'm gonna click on those three dots and I am going to choose participants can chat with no one. And so that way um, I don't have to deal with the chat. Um, again, if parents have any questions or want to talk to you, that would be a good time for you to remind everyone that they can contact you after the um, back to school night by sending you an email or whatever contact information you put in your announcement in Canvas. Now, if you need to mute everyone because parents unmute themselves and start asking questions or they come in and everything is really noisy, you're going to go to your participants down at the bottom. And in the participants menu, you can click mute all. And um, I would recommend unchecking the box so that participants cannot unmute themselves. Um, if you do want to have them ask questions at the end. If you have any time left over, you could always tell them to click on participants and choose the raise hand feature. And then you can unmute them when you see them in the menu up here. So you would click um, unmute when you hover over the person who has their hand up. So I'm going to click mute all and now all current and um, new participants will be muted. Now you want to make sure that you are screen sharing so down here at the bottom where it says screen share, if you click on that, you will have the option to choose what you want to screen share. And so you have a bunch of different choices. Um, you might want to show your entire desktop. If you go to advanced, you can choose slides or other things like that or particular files. It looks like I used to have the opportunity to choose different tabs, but I'm not seeing that right now. So I would just share my desktop and be careful that you are only sharing your um, the desktop that you want people to use. If you have two monitors, you can see I have two monitors right now. So that's why I see two options, but I'm just going to choose the desktop that I'm sharing of my own. Um, you could connect an iPad if you needed to use that to project from, you're welcome to do that. Um, here, I actually do see Google Chrome, so it is, I could choose Google Chrome, but I have multiple tabs open. So again, think about what you wanna share and what works best for you. And then you're gonna press share, and you'll notice that my whole screen is outlined in green. That was a setting I turned it on in my Zoom settings, so it helps me identify whether what is actually being shared. But I'm going to stop my screen sharing. I actually have this menu. It showed up on my other monitor, but this um, is the menu that allows me to stop sharing. And the last thing is how to remove someone if they're Zoom bombing. So that's when you're going to use this participant window. And generally, when you are screen sharing and you're presenting, people are not going to see this participant window. The only reason you're seeing this window right now is because I am making a screencast using a separate tool. Um, but generally, uh, parents wouldn't see this if you had it like over your slideshow that you were sharing. And so if you needed to remove someone from Zoom bombing, you would hover over their name and click on more and you will have the option to remove them from the meeting. Now, I don't have that option here because I can't kick my own self out, but you would be able to hover over their name and remove them. Now, um, there are some other options that you can see in the participant window. Um, you can change different things, um, different settings if you need to. Um, if you want to enable the waiting room for any reason, you can, but I would recommend not using the waiting room for back to school night just because it's going to be hard to monitor and let parents in as they're going to be coming in probably late and um, throughout your entire time. But if you accidentally kept your waiting room turned on and you want to turn it off, 
just click on participants to open up your participants window. So you click down here, open this window up, choose more, and then you can disable the waiting room if you need to.